A human mission to Mars has been the subject of science fiction since the 1880s and of aerospace engineering and scientific proposals since the late 1940s. Plans include landing on Mars for exploration at a minimum. But why Mars? Hello everyone, my name is Nadira Jovi Alimin from Sekolah Global Mentiri Jakarta. And today I'm going to talk about why we humans should explore Mars. So this sparked the idea that life on Mars was possible. Of course, we now know that Mars isn't filled with lush green jungles, but the idea of sending humans to Mars has remained. Since the late 1950s, NASA has been working on the idea of crewed mission to Mars. In 1964, the Mariner 4 spacecraft was the first to obtain close-up photos of Martian surface. And while the result crushed the idea of plant life on Mars, it did pave the way for further exploitation. In nearly 60 years since that mission, NASA has continued to advance its technology and learn even more about our red sister planet. Currently, the Perseverance rover and Immunity helicopter are exploring Mars and making history while they do it. All this is to keep moving forward and bring us one step closer to sending humans to Mars. So, what is it about Mars that has attracted NASA? What characteristics make this planet a candidate for human visits and possibly colonization? So, first of all, this planet is accessible. Mars is the second closest planet to Earth. While Venus is even closer, there is no evidence of life past or present on that planet. In fact, with extreme surface temperature and atmospheric pressure, there is a little chance that life could have ever existed on Venus. So this is what makes Mars so interesting. Its distance from Earth makes it a relatively quick journey. While the distance between Mars and Earth varies drastically depending on where, are, where they are in their orbit, it averaged 140 million miles. The closest recorded distance between the planet occurs in 2003 when they were just 34.8 million miles apart. But at their furthest, they are 250 million miles apart. So NASA needs to calculate every launch very carefully. In fact, there is actually only one ideal launch window and it occurs every 26 months. This is when Mars and Earth lined up without the Sun interfering. Or it told it can take anywhere from 6 to 8 months to reach Mars. Second reason is its days are similar to ours. On Earth, we are used to 24 hours days, but not every celestial body follows the same pattern. For instance, one day on Moon is the equivalent to a month on Earth, and a night on Venus lasts 120 Earth days. That rhythm would take some getting used to. Luckily, a day on Mars is nearly identical to ours. 24 hours, 39 minutes, and 35 seconds. It will be a lot easier for humans to live and work given that Martian days and nights are similar to what we experience on Earth. And next is, there is hope for water in Mars. On the surface, water is present as ice, but there are small quantities of vapor in the atmosphere. In 2020, NASA confirmed the presence of large saltwater lakes under the South Polar region. Obviously, any hope for sustainable life on Mars requires access to water. Though the thin atmospheres prevent liquid water from existing on the planet's surface, NASA is banking on stores of water ice just below the planet's surface. Since 2015, they have been working to identify the best places to access this resource as this is where the ideal base for humans conducting research on Mars would be located. So I think that's all I can tell about why we humans should um, go to Mars, explore Mars, and think whether we should live there or not. Thank you so much for listening, 